President Biden signals new willingness to trade top prisoner with Russia to get WNBA star Brittany Griner and American citizen Paul Whelan back from Moscow. So in this video, we're going to discuss about Biden taking a big gamble to secure Griner and Whelan's release from Russia. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The administration's offer could give Russia leverage and undermine U.S. efforts to coordinate an international campaign to isolate Moscow over its invasion of Ukraine. But Griner's high profile, an extraordinary athlete who is groundbreaking for the LGBT community, has drawn outrage from the sports world and lawmakers who are pressuring Biden to release her. The president has also come under fire for not securing Whelan's release as part of the prisoner exchange that freed Marine Corps veteran Trevor Reed in April. Whelan has been behind bars in Russia for four years on charges of espionage, which he denies. The U.S. classified all three cases as illegal detentions. The situation is a tricky political and national security balance for Biden, who would likely get a political boost from bringing Americans home. But experts say the president must also weigh the risks and potential backlash of signing a deal with the Russians during the war in Ukraine. Biden is spending a tremendous amount of political capital trying to bring that home said Basil Smickle, a Democratic strategist and director of Hunter College's public policy program. According to the White House, an offer was made to the Russians several weeks ago, but Blinken made the highly unusual decision this week to disclose that an offer was on the table. The decision appeared to be an effort to pressure the Russians while also making it clear to the American public that Biden had made a deal for both citizens. This was not a decision we made lightly. White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby told reporters on Friday, We felt that it was important, both in the context of the Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan cases, and the non-case, to publicly state that there was actually a serious offer on the American side. There was no action. Blinken said the conversation with Lavrov was frank and straightforward, but could not announce a breakthrough, telling reporters, I can't give you a judgment on whether I think things are more or less likely, but it was important that he would hear about it directly from me. Whelan's brother, David, told The Hill in an email that the State Department and National Security Council officials notified the family after Blinken disclosed the offer to the Russians this week. He expressed cautious optimism about developments. It's even almost a pre-Cold War relationship. Our problem is that we're dealing with an aggressive power that has nuclear weapons and is more virulent, more aggressive than the Soviets, he said. Miller said that while each hostage situation is unique, there's always a debate about what the risks and rewards are in complying with the adversary's demands for the release of the Americans being held. I feel like they're always thinking about how to embarrass the U.S. and basically look for opportunities. This is also accompanied by Russia's bloody war in Ukraine. The call between Blinken and Lavrov was the first between the two since the Russian attack began. But White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre said Friday that Biden had no plans to speak to Russian President Vladimir Putin about the issue, and she stressed that the statement did not legitimize Moscow. I don't understand how they're even legalized, Jean-Pierre said. If anything, now they're pariahs on the global stage because of what they do. Jean-Pierre said the administration is doing everything it can to bring home Americans detained abroad. For some families of Americans detained abroad, Blinken's public offer to Lavrov and Reed's early release are a positive signal that the U.S. government is working more seriously to free those held as political pawns. The events of the last few days have been quite encouraging, said by Netta Sharkey, whose brother Imad had been detained in Iran since 2018 on charges of being politically motivated. We were encouraged that they would use every tool available for them, in this case, the exchange to bring home Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner. New York governor declares state of disaster due to monkey outbreak. The Biden administration is playing catch up with the local governments in its monkeypox response. Shargi is still waiting to meet with the president to personally advocate his brother's case. Given President Biden's personal history and his desire to provide security for American citizens, it is clear that he's touched by the efforts we all intend to bring to his and his administration's attention, Shari said. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.